Welcome back to Metroid Prime 3 Corruption! Corruption! We're here on Brio, still kind of exploring some things. Gotta take out that shield in the distance by destroying these energy signatures. And the one that they're pointing to right now is the one over here at the fire area. Does this happen every time you boot the game back up? God, I hope not. I guess if you need to remember where you're going so you don't get lost. So we're gonna do uh, the opposite of that and go and go the other place instead. Please. Yep. Couple See? collectibles, easier boss. Uh, it's it's just one quick detour, because we we can't really go towards the other place. There's there's something that we that we need in order to get through, which is be item we don't have yet. Oh, okay. We won't be able to get far, but we can get far enough to do something good. I saw that uh, that not filled in section. That's probably the Leviathan. If I had to guess. Yes. We need to take down the shield, and I'm pretty sure we can land there after that. Okay. Sounds doable. You uh, fly across the most beautiful of skyboxes. I was about to say, if you're going to do a loading screen, make it pretty. Or, you know, make it badass, like Sam is going th through the elevator. <laughs> or the <laughs> or on the train. I think these are fine. Just like her staring in the darkness, just like... Kill Metroids. All right, just gotta make a quick uh, stop here for something that's kind of crucial. How crucial is it? I'll just step through here. I'm just visualizing they didn't want you to come here first, so how big could it be? We got some pirates that go into hyper mode right off the bat. I beg your pardon. You can't scan them. You can only fight them with hyper mode. Oh. That's huge, because that's wasting an E-Tank, and if you don't have it, well, you're kind of screwed. You're kind of screwed. So, can't really go any further, but we can shoot a missile uh, in the appropriate place. There we, go, there we go. Come through here. <gasps> Free tank. Oh, please tell me that's all we came here for. That's all we came here for. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Just a little extra insurance. It's fine, it's fine. We got a, we got a, uh, I'd say a couple of tough fights coming up. And it would be good to be as prepared as we can. We got four, we, we got four free E-Tanks, basically. That's hilarious. That's really funny. So, four out of fifteen. Yep. Not bad, not bad. So, we're in good, we're in good shape. Uh, looking good so far. Gonna now we're gonna take out this generator. <laughs> I would just love it if... The AI mother lord or whoever talks to you is just like, are you done with your detours? Cool. Now actually go where I told you to, please. I'm glad they don't do that. Thank God. I, like, maybe they remind you like the hint system does in previous Metroid games. Now you got me wondering, was there a stopping point here on this one? Like, did you have to go to the one it told you to do first? Is there, like, an item we get over there? Yeah. Okay, okay. That's kind of why they're bringing you over here, because, you know, it's more linear, so you gotta go ex ex exactly here to do this, and go exactly there, so you don't get lost. Okay. I'm trying to make it... If, if, if we, uh, make the Metroid series a bit more accessible to people, maybe more people will play it, and then they try to make a Metroid game that anybody could play, and there was a Metroid that nobody could play, and nobody wanted to play, and it was awful, and then it died for ten years. I do like that their hint system kicks in a lot quicker than Metroid Prime 1's. Because I remember we were just walking around going like, Okay, I don't remember what to do. It, oh, there's the hint. Like, maybe that's the point. Like, you, you, you turn off the game for a while, it spends some time, now here's where you're supposed to go. Right. This is fuel gel. This is the volatile fuel, uh, I guess, system that they use in this plant. They're just dumping gasoline in, into their supplies here? Half gas, half lava. It's to make it oh. kind of like Magamore, but not like Magmore, in a sense. Diet Magmore. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's like a cross between one of the temples from Prime 2 and Magmore from Prime 1. Huh. I Not guess this is like the industrial zone, the power plant right, of, of right. the place. We also saw a ship. It's got so we got some ice going off in here. And we do. Had a nice try, idiot. I'm the only one with the lasso. I think it's a whip. A whip. A whip. Because it whips you. And then it names. 
<laughs> I hate that. I hate me right now. God. You need to be silent, okay? <laughs> No, the joke continues and it makes me hate me more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, some people don't know what the song is, but uh, once they hear Whip and Nay Nay, you already know what it is! <laughs> oh my god, it's terrible. <laughs> it's bad. Help, I'm disintegrating into the Silento Zone. Oh, I got some lore. Hey, nice. More lore, see how bad this place was. Oh, gotta pull the thing off first. Him. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, well, that was just an example of you needing yeah. to scan it to know that, oh, I need to rip this off. You don't need to scan it to rip it off, but uh, in order for that icon to appear that says, yes, you need to rip yeah, it off, yeah. you then scan it. The Age of Schism. In time, the wonders of science were not enough for those who held the primal traditions in their hearts. The warnings of the Chozo to seek balance between old and new ways were not heeded by the lords of science, myself included. We forged on ignorant of the rage in the hearts of the primals. This time came when Sifmas, first order of science, announced the primals and their traditionals, and that just made a whole bunch of war. War, war, war. All the it's like, war. We're smart, and you'll, and uh, if you don't believe we're smart, you're a bunch of dummy, dummy, stupid heads, and you should die. And well, that, that wasn't really good for the balance of, uh, of the world, so it kind of no. led to, uh, yeah. in the entire planet being engulfed in war between ideologies, and well, doesn't that feel kind of relevant today? I do like the term lords of science. It's just like, Seeing uh, Carl Sagan, uh, seeing <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson, seeing Bill Nye just being like, We are the lords of science! Dude, Tyson, Sagan, and Nye. <laughs> Excuse me, fellow lord of science, are we going to do any science today? Oh, I got excited over that. <laughs> <laughs> the crossover of the century, the lords of science. So so who are the lords of, of, of the primal teachings? Well, like uh, uh, Roy Comfort, and, uh, 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 Pat Robertson, fucking Billy Graham. Ram. Yes. <laughs> I made myself laugh. <laughs> you gotta do that sometimes. <laughs> I mean, we started off with a goddamn silental joke, so let's please just find something else. Please. Lords of Science. This gripping thing has a lot more interesting ways to interact with the environment. I can pull that, that uh, lever and then we go down. Mm. That's, that's neat. Kind of cool. I thought you were about to make a mistake to pull the lever again. Oops. Almost. Almost. Almost, but nope. Uh, there was a twitch in the arm, but... We're already here. I'm sorry, what? A couple, couple more of these hoppers here. But... Are we seriously already here? No, no, like we're already here at the bottom. We don't need to oh, pull again. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were about like... So ah, this, this okay. place is only two rooms long. Another one of these here. Okay. All we gotta do is just go into hyper mode and take care of these growths. Here we go. God, that's gotta feel awesome. Uh, uh-huh. Oh, no. Never oh. mind. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, I'm overloading. I'm overloading? What the hell? What's happening? Ah! They said this stuff was safe! Actually, You're getting a phase on overload! Tap in to get the phase on out! Go, 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 go! Get that out of your body before it kills you! And, okay, uh, yeah. Uh, That's awesome. Uh, uh, so, you guys want to explain that? Very abnormal readings from your life support systems. Are you okay? No! <laughs> As a precaution, we are downloading the diagnostic data from your suit to further analyze this situation. We will contact you again if we have any more information. Well, that was something. This I is called the Corrupted Pool. It is just an entire pool of phase on ah! here. That's gonna, that's gonna absolutely murder it. Wait, is it? suit will allow you to absorb this phase on into your body and utilize it as energy? Wait, they so, found a way So to... I can just... Splish splash, I was taking a bath! It's healing me! Is it really? Yeah! Oh yeah, there it goes. Wow! So, uh, the phase on can override my system and I'm using it to heal my energy. Nothing wrong with that, I'm sure. Uh, it won't, won't, ever, won't ever turn bad at all. What's it, the worst that can happen? I don't know, whatever. Almost balances out from a gameplay standpoint. I do love how when you get an overload, it's just like, get it off, 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 get it off. What's up? Oh, buddy. It's Rundus. Hey, pal. How's it go? Rundus? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Buddy? Uh, I thought it would have had like a cool quip or something to say, but all right. I guess I'll just go up there and. Uh... Of course, it can never be that easy. Corruption. No. All right, what you got? What you got? Oh, these 
don't look friendly. These are called warp hounds. Oh, they teleport and they're vulnerable to cold attacks. So we don't have any cold attacks. So this is kind of an endurance run. That's cool. That's cool. Just kind of keep moving. They will they will spit fire at you. They can uh, disrupt your visor if they get too close. I uh, don't like that. Just kind of strafe around. Keep throwing. Ow! Ow! ow on keep throwing fire. charge shots. You'll be you'll be fine. Just kind of keep moving. Uh, do different enemies have different weak points or is it all just shoot the thing until it dies? Certain ones have certain weak points. Because I'm just thinking, you could have been hitting these guys a lot in the head and I'm wondering if that does just slightly more damage. Well, they're weak to cold attacks and we don't have any that cold makes attacks, sense. so okay. this is as good as we can do. So, elemental damage is different. Yeah. Shooty, shooty, bang, hurt. Uh, yeah. Hey, we got one. We get him eventually. Again, it's... it's uh, this would be a normal enemy as soon as we get the item that we uh, that we need, but because we don't have that item, it's oh, it's tough. Can you handle it? I've always enjoyed that level of progression. It's just like this will be a regular enemy later, but for now, kill it. So it feels good when you do kill him again. There we go. Yeah. All right. A couple more times for good measure. See? All right. So the way these work, we gotta do a charge shot to each of these streams, but first some lore. What do the Lords of Science have to say about the Age of War? The Age of War! In the beginning, the conflicts were small, out of sight for most on Brio, but they grew slowly but steady as the coming of the sun. Diplomacy gave way to brutality, and war came to our world. The Lords of Science turned their minds from exploration to destruction, and unleashed horrors unknown upon their primal <laughs> enemies. In retaliation, the primals turned to the darkness of ancient powers, cursing us, the Science Lords, and all who served our cause. Friends from the stars tried desperately to end the conflict all in vain. The people of war would not be denied. So, not only was there war, there was, like, super war! It was, like, nuclear energy versus, like, d the darkest of black magic! Ultra super war. Ultra super war! It, it, like, like, hella war! It's like, there's war and then there's, oh, god war! Oh, oh, oh. Super war entertainment system, holy cow! Oh, wait, did we do it? Yeah, we did it. Oh. Just raise this platform up here. Oh. Alright. We gotta get up there, but uh, there's no way to get up there, so we have to change this room to get up there. If we had a cool, uh, ice, uh, friend to help us get up there, would have been nice, but mm. I think he's kind of running solo at the moment. He's got a bad case of corruption! Well, it's, been, it's been a month, he probably doesn't, doesn't remember us, so we've only talked for, like, a couple of times, so, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I get it, I get it. Who, who in the bounty hunter sphere is going, who's that Samus chick? Never heard of her. I think everyone knows who we are now. I was just thinking that, yeah. You know, Gandreda thinks Samus is a rival. Hell yeah. Of course, I think that's really funny, you know, Gendry is like, Oh, Samus Aran, Samus Aran! Ooh. And, uh, Samus is going, Who? <laughs> Who are you? I've never met her met you before. We gotta, right. we, we gotta pump this one. I think it'd be funny if... Uh, ooh, Samus Aran, and Samus actually thinks, Is that my name? Oh, yeah, 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 that is my name. Oops. It's actually Samus Aran, but... It's too late to correct anybody now, I suppose. <laughs> All right, now we can use this tunnel. You know... I would kind of hate it if Nintendo came out and actually said that was how you pronounced your name. It's just like, no, no. Actually, it's actually it's a uh, Mario. Ah! And like Louis guy, yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite Mar Mario brother. It's like, oh stop! Ew. That's actually it's it's brother. <laughs> Is there a bunch of Italians who make a bunch of you know soups? Super Mario brothers. <laughs> Italian soup makers, no! Okay, Miyamoto, it's time to take your medication. <laughs> Pikeman! No, no, no. <laughs> the carrots don't talk to you. It's enough. Let's go. Ironically, Kirby is the only one that makes sense. <laughs> and the only one that was actually real. Every other name? Garbage. We're gonna name him uh, uh, Popopo, but... <laughs> We thought people would think that name was kind of silly. So we named it after our lawyer. <laughs> Same as Iran. Everyone will understand that. Alright, you shoot that stream. And you shoot that stream. That makes everything blow the fuck up. Is there anything that actually tells you to shoot those to make them into fire? If you scan them, they'll probably say something. Okay, okay. A lot of the... You know, uh, assume knowledge I have is uh, stuff to hold you through scans. Ew. They want you to scan a lot in this game. I don't know if I'm keen on that. 
I love how her, her eyes are locking onto your pointer. Yeah. It's so nice. Got a grab ledge. We can work with that. I think the uh, devs really liked having the double jump early on so they can kind of spread their legs for level design a bit earlier. I can see the one guy in retro just going, Guys, puzzles. He just goes, well, well, how do we get this puzzle working? And it's like, double jump? I feel like there's like a level, de a level developer that tried to make, you know, some stages. But then, you know, uh, lead designer's going, uh, uh, Ryan! What? Can't jump this ledge, don't have double jump yet. Don't have double jump! <sighs> Let's put it like a ledge there or something, god damn it. When do we get in the super jump? Not until after the second level. God damn it! Mm. Come on! Fred, you knew I wanted to... Okay. Maybe we'll put it in Prime 3. Alright. Got it. Easy. And then more of those gel puffers are out. But now it's locked in place. Oh, beautiful. Were you on a time limit or anything, or is that just for no, it's aesthetics? Just, it's just, dip, dip, you're done now. Okay, cool. Oh, right, because he gave you the jingle and everything. Let's jump up there and hi -oh. Easy as that. Fantastic. Alright. Ooh, big lava place. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of ice coming around this area. I wonder what that could mean. Oh, I did it wrong. Shit. Huh? Oh, man. Oh, oh, I did it wrong. Damn it. Wait, what was supposed to happen? Oh, well. Oh, uh, we gotta do a tough scan around here. It's called a gel ray, but it like pops up right there, and that's it. Oh, did you get it? No. No. Oh. Yeah, for this one, uh, you basically gotta fire at the right time. So it burns that vine. Oh! And drops this platform, revealing... Oh. Alright, we gotta do a little bit of fishing now. I'm down. Let's grab this, uh, missile expansion first. You know, after all this intergalactic travel, fighting space pirates, it'd be good for Samus to do some fishing. So we gotta keep our, uh, our scan visor on. And when the, when the gel ray jumps out of the water, lava I'd say, that's when we have to get him. Get him. We only have that, that amount of time. Ah, oh. But the scan builds up over time. I was wondering about that. So that's how you're going to get the Shriek Bats. Yes. Over time. Over time are really, really lucky. Ah, uh, uh, uh. oh, Gel Puffer, get out of here. That just reminds me of Psyduck and Pokemon Snap, who just jumps out of the water just like, the Psyduck! <laughs> All right. Where are you at? Come on. Can't hide forever. Come on now. Do, do. Doot, 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 doot. Where's he at? Doot, doot. Uh, ah, almost. One more good scan, I'll do, ought to do it. I got you, you bastard. Where are you at? Where are you at? Uh, ah, one more, one more. For real this time. We've almost got him. There's another spot where he pops up a bit more frequently, but it's uh, less common. You'll see. More frequently, but less common. There's one spot where he jumps out, but uh, it's part of a larger pool where he could jump in. I get you. Oh, he's gonna jump in front of you, maybe? Right there! Got it! Yeah! The gel ray! Passive bioform native to Brio. Lives within pools of fuel gel. Awesome. Just, we just can't scan him when he's in the water like that. Don't know why. Just can't do it. Cause it's not water, you silly goof. Got a save right here, but we don't really need it because we're good. And also just to make sure the recording goes through, of right. course. Mm -hmm. If you're playing casually, this would be a great place to save. Mm -hmm. A great place to save. I wonder what's going to happen. I wonder too. Anything could happen at this point. UDJ, I have a, a sneaking suspicion that we're about to see our friend again. I hope so. I mean, he went this way, so he's got to come somewhere. Ooh. Ew! Oh. Where the Magmore uh, comparisons are definite. Ah, that actually sounded like pain. 
I, th I think those are the beta hurt voices that they had. Jesus! For the first Metroid Prime, but they cut them out because it sounded too sexual or whatever. It sounds like pain! So what I, do you mean? So I don't know if they did, th if they just re re uh, got some new voice samples or if they repurposed those, but uh, yeah, we got new hurt sound because how, ouch, how, hurt, ouch, hot! Ouch, hot, yeah! <laughs> Like, there is a huge difference between, you know, me hitting my knee against a desk and touching something hot. Touching your knee on something hot. Ah! Oh, God, no! Alright, come out here to this place. We're near the generator. Hi, boss arena. A great place for some pirates yeah. to show up. Oh, that's a huge ship. Wow. Oh, yep, here they come. They're, oh, they're just... Oh, they're just... Shooting the place. I'll just stick back here and get this scan. Large space pirate crate. Yeah, do they even know I'm here, or are they just going, hey, blow up the area, boys? Okay, now they're launching their boys. Okay, here they are. What's up, guys? Okay, I'm gonna scan yeah. one of these guys. Hey, you! You, come here! Come here! Come here! I need you! Get over here! Just imagine. Tell me about you! Fighting an opponent who just has her fingers to her temple, <laughs> just going visor, 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 and dodging all of your bullets. <laughs> come here, come here, I need you. Get over here, come on. I love that imagery. It's like, I got him, 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 I got him. Okay, now you can die. Come on. Yeah, they're showing off their nice sexy armor that goes off with a nice uh, couple of blasts or maybe a couple of missiles. I was just thinking, yeah, you're undressing these pirates most unceremoniously. As a lord of science, I don't really <laughs> abide by Well, as this. a primal lord, I gotta say, this oh, is part for the course! Primal lord of science, hello! How are you doing? <laughs> what do you think of these space pirates, primal lord of science? Are they, are they your cup of tea? It's like one of those guys that say, You see, it's scientifically proven that women are inferior to men. <laughs> Ew, yeah. Alright, definitely war on this guy. <laughs> Absolutely war. Other lords of science? Fuck you, boy! Yeah, let, let's make some new special new uh, thermonuclear bomb to take care of guys like that. Ooh, it's ice! Oh, perfect! Oh, still got him. Uh, oh! Hey, nice. Right, uh, you wanna explain yourself there, bud? Fuck yeah, buddy. Way to go, Rundus. Nice intro. Alright. Way to go. Nice. So anyway, how's the corruption? See if we can... Oh, whoa! Yep. It's corrupting, apparently! Oh, no! <laughs> Uh-oh. Seems like that uh, Phazon inside of him has been uh, controlled by Dark Samus. That's not good. Ice armor protects his body, but could be ripped off if he was stunned. Okay, I think we can manage that. So let's just uh, avoid his ice blasts, shoot him a whole bunch. He likes to ride around on that uh, ice... Oh, that's sick. Ice Ferrari of his, I suppose. A little janky, but yeah, I'm gonna forgive it. It looks fine. He's trying to shake you off of the lock-on, basically. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is... When he does that, it's annoying, because you can't tell where he is now. Oh, this is ah. nice. Okay. Good. That was a good, solid hit. There we go. All right. I just can't get it off, and now he's ready to take damage. <laughs> no, 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 wake up, please! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So... Now that we know what the uh, corruption of Dark Samus did, who's to say we are not being controlled by Dark Samus to take out Rundus? Maybe that'll be his explanation. Well, uh, seeing as how that we're still in control of ourselves, I think we're still good. But uh, I know. However, when we got hit by that uh, phase on overload, I think that might have been it hurt. Her trying? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe these guys succumb to that, and now they're just a bunch of husks. Maybe they're all already dead. That's what I was wondering. See, the fact that we actually still use the laser means that it wasn't... we didn't get corrupted fully. Can the others dispel the Phazon like that as good as we can? I don't know. I don't think so. Because we're still in Chozo Tech. I wonder if that helped against the corruption. That's what I'm thinking, because... Uh, because my, my headcanon is that Samus's Chozo suit is like magic technology. <laughs> it pretty much is, yeah. Like, it's so powerful, it's so good. A no. little, little bit janky sometimes. Gotta, like, you know, hit it a couple of times yeah, exactly. to get it make it work properly. But this thing is, un is unbeatable. Wow, Chozo had it right. 
Mainly because of the power of the suit, but also because of the woman in the suit, I'd say. Yeah, those science lords didn't know that what they were dealing with. She's got the ins instinct of a soldier, and yet the heart of a hero, and... So she can bring out the full potential, the full capabilities oh, of the power of the Chozo power suit. Height of an Amazon? Ah. By the way, this fight looks like fun as hell. Yeah, it is. It's a good boss fight. Like, I'm it's... sorry to the dragonfly whale we fought in Metroid Prime 2. This is leagues over it because you're actually moving and shooting. This actually seems like fun. And even though there's uh, points where he can take damage, uh, you can do like a lot of damage in between that. And mm -hmm. it, it, it all works out. He's not like pelting you with so many unskippable things. His uh, faces don't take forever. There's no, there's hardly any no uh, damage. Do they want you to use hyper mode in this instance? Yes, they do. And but we're gonna save. It I was about to say, save your health. Most of these bosses have a space for. Okay, time for hyper mode. Time for hyper mode. Okay. Probably to get rid of the corruption in their heart. You'll know. Oh, never Jesus. You, remember, you need Phazon to defeat Phazon. So when he goes into hyper mode. So you too into should mode. you. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Yeah, you can also use his ice barriers to your advantage. That's great. Uh huh. What? Oh, that was just a miss. Oh, it plinked. Those tentacles. Time to go to hyper mode. Die! 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 As much damage as I thought. I, I, oh, I gotta get his armor off first. Oh, whoops. You know, I think Damn I can me. put another thing into that. Yeah, no, no, let's no get him. Let's get him. Let's pump it into him. Wait, did no, I'm frozen. Oh, no. whoops. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That dad melted the rest of his health off like crazy. I'm sorry, friend. Oh, no. Oh. oh! Fatality. Did we do that? No, we didn't. The, the one who pulls the strings is the one who did that. So she offed him just so we couldn't help him? Uh-huh. Ew! What an evil bitch! I know! See you later, but, uh, we can take one of his toys. It's probably the only thing left! There is no ice beam in this game. Ice missiles! Ooh! Okay. That was from, uh, Fusion? Yes. Nice! I would love it if they used the same sound effect. Oh, that's too low grade, but I would love it. Yeah, it's Prime Game, not Fusion. I know, I know. Oh, <laughs> just one random shot. So the best part about beating a boss in Metroid, <laughs> landing strip, is getting all the goodies after that. Oh, mm, 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 get my missiles back, get my health back. Mm, yummy, yummy, ha ha. Yummy, yummy, ha ha. All right, so uh, the generator is just right in this next room here. All right. Don't have that far to go. I don't like Dark Samus' shadow off to its own devices. Well, this is her final gambit. I wish there would have been a way for us to, like, absorb it or something, just to put it in the Phazon tank. All right, so... You know, oh, yep, there he is. <laughs> Jory, there, yep. <laughs> This would, have, this would have been an okay place to scan my bet, because he pops up here a lot. That's yeah, alright. Twice there, it's fine. Just get out of the way. Platforms, yeah. gotcha. This okay. Is, this is the main focus of the ice missiles in here. To freeze the fuel gel, use them as platforms or, like, stop gaps. It also gives you a reason to actually use your missiles. <laughs> I mean, missiles are good. I've just been conservative on using them. Now, you go to your ship a whole lot, and you, they get refilled a whole lot, too. Okay. But I just like the charge shot. It just feels nice. Boop. 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 Never any limit on the charge shot. Which... Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know this, but uh, which Metroid game where it's just like missiles were an afterthought? Was that Other M, or was it... Uh... It felt like Other M. Which one was it? I love that! That rules! I don't think hunters use... Uh, hu um, yeah, hunters, hunters didn't use missiles. They barely used missiles because it was such a hassle to use them. Yeah. And you had all these other weapons you could use instead. What? What? Did, what uh, Excuse you. It's that bug on the wall. How rude. I hate it when a bug takes a chunk out of my ass when I'm trying to go through the room. I got some more lore here. 
downfall. Mm. <laughs> Lords of science, what happened? Look now to the time of battle, tribe against tribe. See fertile land swept clean of all living things by arcane nightmares of the hellish Ooh. blast of science. See the giant stone Mognars do battle, destroying the land with their titanic blows. And hear the undying scream of a planet wracked by darkest war. The battles waged endlessly, and the resources needed to sustain our war machines were great. Brio too had become a casualty of the war. The air was filled with it was it was icky. It was a bad time. War is bad. Okay. Pollution, calamity. Only a small region remained habitable until the survivors went, bringing the war with them. Yikes! <laughs> so there's no escape from war on this hellish place. And it was all because of Phazon? All, all because of just science. Ow! In infighting between science and the old ways led to the downfall of society. That did, did. This game's too political, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> did we do it? I, oh yeah, was that it? Did we? Shield generator set us online, inaccessible from current location, unable to reach from the ground. What? Wait, really? We can't do anything here. This is all for nothing. It was online. Oh, here we go. Yeah. No shit. You must oh. find a weapon capable of penetrating the generator's heavy armor. Leave and come back? Yep, we gotta go to the other to the other place in Brio now, because now we have the weapon we need to go further in that area. Okay, so we don't have to leave the planet, we just have to go to the other region. Yes. Okay. You had me scared there for a second. See, in my head, Cannon, I think that Samus is like... Ugh, when it comes to, like, authority from a computer, no less. A little bit of an eye roll here and there. Because in Fusion, she's like, you know, like, oh, it's a computer based on Adam. Well, the real Adam would have been, yeah, the real Adam. <laughs> <yeah, laughs> so basically, she just hates technology, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> While wearing technology. I think they overcorrected for Other M, because now she'll do anything for this dumb loser. And I don't think we as a player would share that with her. Well, if he was a computer, she wouldn't have listened in the first place. <laughs> We kind of got used to it in, in Metroid Dread. You just had Daddy Adam deal with everything. Well, now it's just regular Daddy. If you know how that game goes. I'm <laughs> 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 oh, great. Oh, wait. That was actually a fun series. I, re I really like doing Dread. Oh, I love Dread. That was fun. I could do it again if I wanted. All right, one-way tunnel. Back to your ship. <laughs> Directly back to your ship. Kind of, kind of like the room out, and oh look, there's some uh, fucking uh, shriek bags shriek back, here shriek that back, I still back. can't, I still can't scan. Ah! It just won't let me. They're that, too fast. That was so close, though. I know. I fucking know. I'm gonna have to come back. <laughs> so much vitriol behind me. <laughs> fucking no, man. Oh yeah, we're just right here. Sweet. Yep. Well, that was productive. <laughs> there you go. We killed one of our hunter friends. Oh. Well, uh, Dark Samus did, actually. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we can blame it on her. So next time on Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, more Brio. And probably taking out the other generator in the process. See you then.